Gun 101 here, and we're continuing off with Unity Plugin and Visual Scripting Tutorial Part 3. We're going to be making animations for this animationless character that we created in the last episode. I mean, tutorial. I should say tutorial, not episode. We're not fucking Star Wars here. <laughs> Yet, Star Wars is amazing. So, uh, let's fix this, shall we? So in the previous video we made a animator controller down here and called it control character one. Double click on that. If you haven't made one, go back watch the other video. Double click on this, click on the par parameters tab right here in the animator. You're gonna wanna add a float, call it speed. Then you're gonna wanna add another float, call it forward. Add another float, call it left, right. One word, capital L for left and then R, capital R for right, but one word for the two. Uh, and if you can see the, the tiny writing here, it's, yeah. If you look in the character editor right here, you'll see it. Um, left, right, as you can see, that's how it's written. You want to 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 mimic these those characters. That's that's everything we're doing right now. Is we're putting all of these into here. So now we need another float. We need to call that jump. Now we need a bool. Call that grounded. A trigger. On death. And then bool. Yeah, all right, so with all these uh, in there, we're good to go. To m navigate through your, uh, you can move your blocks around, but to navigate the actual panel, hold the uh, Alt on your keyboard, and now you can actually move your panel around. Find that exit right there, because uh, you don't really need it, but it's good to keep some of your things uh, kind of in your visual sight here. So here's our entry. Uh, we've already created our character. Character. <laughs> we've already created the character to uh, be uh, rigged for generic. If you haven't done that, then you're gonna have to watch the previous video because we need uh, our legacy animations to work with Mechanum because that's what we're using for the player character. So when you click on here, we need to make sure that uh, our animation clips here that we need to be looped are looped and the ones that aren't looped need to be not looped you know what I mean uh, that one was a little confusing that ending but the first part made sense okay anyway so we need our idle our walk and our run to be looped so with this character the samurai if you're following along with the samurai you would uh, find it like this being in the main character if it's a different kind of character, each animation is in its e its own little uh, thing, ch uh, like a like the samurai here, the block. It's gonna be its own thing, parented with one animation, so it's kind of messy looking. But uh, that's how it, that would be with like uh, the blade and uh, blade girl and PC. Yeah, that one. That's how it's like with that one. I've purchased that. So yeah, anyway. All these are looping, so we're good to go. We can now drag in our idle. Just click and drag in the animation. Let's go back into here because we want to click and drag our run. I mean our walk and our attack. Let's drag this over here. I need this to be so big. So now we want to right click and make a transition to walk. We want to turn off as exit time. We want to add a condition. Switch the condition to forward with forward greater than one. Now we want to click on walk here. Right click make transition to idle. Turn off as exit time. Now we want forward is less than one. This way it'll go back to walk when we stop and now we click on attack and make a transition to idle and we want to actually make a new bool and we will call this a float and call it attack. Click back on here, turn off, oh wait we want to keep the exit time on because 
there's the the attack wants to finish right we want to finish swinging the sword before it goes to idle that's the idea because technically our attack uh, flow is always going to be zero it's n we're not going to actually touch that float it's just a float to always bring it back when the the time has come to an end for the animation that I guess I'm a little tired today, but anyway, so we will click attack and we want less than one. So it's always going to be less than one attack. So has exit has to be on or it will not do the animation when we ask to force play the animation when we're doing our skills in the next video. Alright, so now that we have this all set up, we can just uh, click right out of here, go to our scene. Right now, we got to make sure that our art here has a animator controller. As you can see, there is none. So we want to drag our character one animator controller into the arts animator. Now we can just apply and save our character controller. Right click, save our everything. Now we want to click play at the top here. Now if you look, we actually have animation. So we do not have our side animations because this character does not have any, but we will uh, root uh, some at some point. I'll uh, figure that out because I can technically root the regular walk many times in today's uh, yeah. Instead of just walking like this because now I'm kind of like gliding sideways. If you have a character that has like a strife or like a walk sideways kind of thing, it's actually perfect. So, uh, yeah, most of this would probably work out perfectly if you were doing a top down game because then the, uh, the animations don't actually do that cool, all this like forward and sideways kind of like to dodge kind of things. But you can't necessarily dodge unless you put a lot more extra work into the game. But uh, now that we have our animations here, we are done with this. Our next video, like I said, will be skills. And if we have enough time in that video, I will possibly also be adding a NPC. But I think our first NPC will just be a monster that's a cube just to save time and space but uh, the art is always changeable and then you can always set the animations it's very easy stuff we'll get to that when we change that cube into an actual monster in another video take care guys